may actually have stopped rotating and could even reverse course. Research is suggesting the rotation of Earth's inner core may have paused mm -hmm. and it could even go into reverse. Mm -hmm. The ground beneath our feet may be shifting, literally. A just-released study about Earth's inner core has rocked the scientific community with its astonishing findings. Has the Earth's inner core stopped its rotation, or even more shockingly, could it be rotating in reverse? So what could this mean for our planet and its inhabitants? Let's find out. A recent study conducted by researchers at Peking University in China has rocked the scientific community. The Earth's core is like a mystery wrapped in an enigma. It's made up of an outer layer of liquid metal in a central region of solid metal that's about 70% the size of the moon. But what are the consequences when the Earth's inner core is not spinning like we thought, and maybe even be rotating in reverse? If you like this video so far, please subscribe to my channel so I can keep you updated. Let's continue. Just like the rest of the planet, Scientists thought the core was spinning counterclockwise when viewed from the North Pole, but the study of seismic wave data from the past 60 years has shown that the core's motion stopped around 2009 and then started rotating in the opposite direction. It's like a swing, moving one way and then the other, explains the study authors Zhao Deng Song and Yi Yang. A full cycle takes about 70 years. They believe that the last rotation change happened in the early 1970s, and the next one is slated for the mid-2040s. So what could have caused such a drastic change in the Earth's inner core? The researchers aren't entirely sure, but they think it could be due to temperature, pressure, and liquid metal flow changes in the Earth. The implications of this shift could potentially affect our climate and magnetic field. But have you ever wondered what lies at the center of our planet Earth? The truth is, we don't know much about it. The Earth's core is like a secret society, shrouded in mystery and impossible to study directly. But thanks to seismic wave analysis, we've learned a little bit more about this fascinating part of our planet. At a depth of about 2,890 kilometers, the outer core meets the Earth's mantle, and it's believed to be made of fluid iron and nickel but the central layer, located about 5,000 kilometers below the planet's surface, is solid iron and nickel due to the high pressure that forces the metal atoms to bunch together. Seismic waves have given us a glimpse into the Earth's core, and it's suspected that the inner core is located within the liquid outer core and spinning in the same direction as the rest of the Earth. That's where researchers Zhao Deng Song and Yi Yang come in. They analyzed seismic waves and discovered a gradual turning back of the inner core as part of a roughly seven-decade oscillation, which they published in the journal Nature Geoscience. Even with this new information, seismologist John Vidal of the University of Southern California says none of the existing models really explains all the available data well. But he adds that this is a very careful study conducted by outstanding scientists who used a lot of data. When it comes to the rotation of the Earth's inner core, it's like a game of telephone. Everyone has their own version of what's happening, but let's break it down. Researchers Zhao Dong Song and Yi Yang say that the oscillation coincides with other geophysical changes, like changes in day length and the Earth's magnetic field. The researchers believe that these changes could be due to gravitational coupling and the transfer of angular momentum between the Earth's layers. They also hope that their research will encourage other scientists to develop models that see the Earth as an interconnected system. So which is it? Six years? 20 to 30 years? 70 years? Only time and more research will tell. So there you have it. The mystery of the Earth's inner core is one that's making heads spin. It's a complex and intriguing subject that has had scientists scratching their heads and debating back and forth and this recent study has added a new twist to the story, giving us a fresh perspective and adding to our understanding of this fascinating topic. Still, there's so much more to uncover and learn about the inner core and its role in shaping our planet. It's clear the story is far from over. Who knows what amazing findings are just around the corner? Let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.